Hello everybody, I hope you're doing really well. I am Tiasha, this is Hirayat. Now firstly, I want to thank all of you a lot for showing so much love in our Pondicherry video. Now, I have read all your comments and I know you guys want some more information on how much money I spent in those three days of my Pondicherry trip um, and also a couple of other things. So I decided to make this video and divulge all of you guys with those info. Now, before I move on to the budget part of the video, uh, I would like to say if you like Harayat and you enjoy watching our videos and if you think that, you know, it just gives you that information that you need and you can like discover new places, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also share it with your friends who you want to just travel with, you know. Who knows, you might find your next destination here in this channel. So getting to the budget part, uh, firstly would be how do you get to Pondicherry, right? So the easiest thing to do is to take a bus from Bangalore or Chennai. Now if you take a bus from Chennai, it is way cheaper than the bus you take from Bangalore. So um, buses from Chennai will cost you around uh, 350 to 450 per head. Whereas buses from Bangalore to Pondicherry will cost you around 700 to 900 per head. All right. Now, once you reach Pondicherry, you need to figure out how you want to go around the place. And Scooty is not only the easiest and the cheapest way to do that, but, it all, but it's also the fanciest. So you can easily get any Scooty you want for somewhere between 300 and 400 for a day you can just rent a scooty you can also get for like really pretty vespas between that price all right once you're done with the scooty uh, you have to figure out where you want to stay so uh, you can easily find uh, places that will charge you somewhere between 800 to 1000 per night and that too in the most happening uh, area of the town which is your french colony or white town as you might want to call it so uh, for the first two days we had actually stayed at a place uh, which was charging us 900 per day all right but the last day we decided since uh, the first two days we covered quite a lot of Pondicherry we decided why not you know shift to a more a fancier place a more lavish place something with a swimming pool and something that's like really really pretty so the last day we were staying at Villa du Ocean and uh, Villa du Ocean will charge you somewhere around uh, 2500 to 3500 per night and um, so that is how we had you know planned our stay so one part was like 900 per night and then the last day was somewhere around 3000 per night so you can plan your stay accordingly if you think that you want to, you know, just stay at a more reasonable price throughout the trip, you can do that. If you want to stay at a uh, fancy place throughout the trip, you can do that or you can just mix it up, whatever works for you. Now, coming to the most interesting part, which is food. And it's something that Pondicherry is absolutely famous for. So uh, I'll just like tell you the average for a day and that's 1000 per head. Now, coming to a few more details, so some of the restaurants and the cafes I had visited were like, are like really famous and have awesome food in Pondicherry. So, for example, uh, places more on the fancier side would be Coromandel Cafe and then Villa Shanti. So, you know, meal over there will cost you somewhere around 1000 to 2000 for two people. All right. Now, if you want to go to some cozy cafes for, say, breakfast or other meals for that matter, you can go to Cafe Ole, you can go to Eat My Cake, and uh, these places will somehow charge you somewhere around 700 to 800 for two people. All right. Now, if you want to, uh, you know, if you're like, no, I do want to try out some South Indian food, uh, do not forget to go to Hotel Sri Kamachi. I mean, that is the place where I visited and I realized that South Indian biryani could be such a sensation. It is absolutely beautiful and if you do visit there, do not forget to try out their prawn kamachi as well. 
So Hotel Sri Kamachi is also somewhere around 700 to 800 for two people. Uh, so that was just some of the options that you can try out. Uh, definitely go to Cafe des Arts as well because um, not only is that the most famous cafe and the most talked about cafe in Pondicherry, it is totally worth it. All right. So the food is great and uh, so is the ambience. And Cafe des Arts is also going to uh, cost you somewhere around 900 to 1000 for a meal for two. Another place that I absolutely have to mention that you absolutely have to visit in Pondicherry is known as Baker Street. So if you want to have uh, those French delicacies and awesome bakery items, Baker Street is something that you absolutely cannot miss. And um, as for the price, it's somewhere around 400 to 500 for two people. Uh, so now that we are done with food and I already told you if you kind of take an average it's 1000 per day per head that is. So um, let's do like a quick roundup of everything. So the scooty I already told you you can easily rent for 300 to 400 per day and uh, since I was traveling with another person which is always like kind of the best thing to do because it just cuts down your pr uh, prices. So you know that can easily be like 150 per head. Uh, I mean per day for you, for scooty that is. For stay, if you're staying at a place that's charging you 800 and you're traveling with another person, that's 400 per night for you. And food, I already told you, is 1000 per day. And uh, the travel, which I told you in the very beginning, where if you do plan on taking a bus from Chennai to Pondicherry, which is the cheapest, that's going to be 350 per head. So if you do a quick calculation, it's going to somehow come somewhere between 5,000 for three days. And uh, yes, that's how you can travel, uh, you know, in Pondicherry for three days for somewhere around 5,000. Uh, but of course, like, feel free to mix things up uh, your own way. Um, also, if you have a few more questions about Pondicherry or any other video for that matter, don't forget to leave them down in the comments below and we'll definitely tend to it. We love hearing from you guys. And uh, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like it. If you want to take this trip with a few friends or other people, don't forget to share this video with them. And also, don't forget to subscribe to Hirayat because your love and your support just keeps us going. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.